Hello and welcome to my video where I'm testing if GNOME 45 is already at a state where it's at an acceptable level to work with, at least for myself. So mostly this is dependent on extensions. And I must say most extensions I actually need for my personal enjoyment are working. So let's say here, blur my shell perfectly working can enable enable it no problem it turns out immediately what i recommend though is to disable the application blur just because if you are switching workspaces it otherwise is quite buggy the next one is caffeine enable it worked immediately uh same for coliseum dash to dock worked like it should there was no difference anything so um, previously I used the pop shell tiling function and uh, after I discovered it's not updated yet, probably will not be updated anyways for GNOME 45, I looked around and found Forge and Forge is amazing. It is not as simple to set up as the pop shell thing, but in, like its defaults are very sane, so it's pretty easy. The only thing I actually changed here was the focus hint border, and I changed the gap sizes a little bit. Otherwise, it's automatically in a good state here. So uh, the next one is no overview at startup. I really hate the default overview when you start, then it looks like this, and this is not my my favorite thing because I think it's very impractical to have it uh, start out like this and it's very unusable to me if you ask me and then the next one I like to have some nice big wallpapers so the wallpaper slideshow extension works perfectly fine before I was using the Bing wallpaper extension, it has not been updated so I look for an alternative, I found this one I like it because you can also add other wallpapers into the same directory which is amazing so you can also mix in your own and you can have a change for whatever time frame you prefer and this is absolutely cool and i'm actually happy that i found this one and the weather o'clock i really like the weather being here in this setting and therefore i can just look at the weather and if you click on it and then you click on the weather here it also opens the gnome weather app so it's actually really cool and overall i'm pretty happy with how gnome works there are a few caveats so for example just perfection is not working properly it is working although it causes a crash basically every single time you log back into the desktop and you have to enable all the extensions again. So I think this is an unacceptable state, therefore I do not recommend using it as of now. Another one is I could not find a properly working tray indicator. So there is this one here, app indicator, but it is not ideal because it doesn't work well with the blur my shell. So it expects you basically to have the default uh, top bar being completely black uh, as it expects a black background because it also draws a black background around the icons and that's not ideal. So uh, the other ones like tray icon reloaded, etc., are not working yet. They need to be ported to EMS, this new integration system for GNOME for extensions. But overall, I'm pretty happy. So without the tray icons reloaded, that's one what I'm missing. And the rounded window corners for GTK 2 and 3 apps. So that means basically here the bottom corners could be rounded too. Those are missing. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how it works. And that's mostly cosmetical, although the tray icons reloaded would be ideal for applications like Signal and Desktop, uh, Discord to be shown there so you can easily close them. I hope you liked this video. And if you really liked the video, please leave a like. And also, please consider to subscribe to my channel.